What's up everybody, and today I'm going to be taking you on a little mini harbor guide on a map we really haven't seen them a lot in. Now we did see harbor get picked quite a lot in the VCT lock-in, especially on maps Icebox and Pearl, and he was pretty successful on those maps. But I want to take our attention onto a different map that we really haven't seen harbor in, and that map is Haven. Let's immediately start this off with your A attack execute. You're immediately going to want to go into A short, head into this corner, and pop your wall. Now you're going to want your wall to cover both CT areas. You want to cover CT tunnel and heaven. This wall is extremely strong as it covers both of the entrances that your defenders will come from, so it completely stops their push and allows you to clear the site easier. Your cove on A can allow for easy plants behind the box without having to worry about an op on heaven. And then here are the cascades you can use while defending A site on attack. You can cascade CT spawn, you can cascade your area on A long, or you can also cascade heaven. And here's your ult on A while attacking. It covers A site, heaven, short, and parts of A link, so it's a very strong ultimate on A haven. And then here's your A wall again one more time. And I really want to nail in that you have to aim this wall inside of A heaven. You want to get that wall to be able to reach up in heaven. All right, moving on to the B attack execute. This one is where Harper's creativity comes into play the most. Immediately, you're going to want to cascade off of window and you're going to want to stop it right at B door entrance. So any enemy that is in the B site cannot push through and will not have any clear access to B main. And then here's your wall for B. You're going to want to make a huge half circle. And this wall covers both B link and A link entrances and also covers back site B in case somebody is playing back there. This wall essentially allows you to take control of the whole B site only really having to worry about your spawn. And what's really strong about Harbor is its ability to use one single wall to be able to cut off multiple choke points and multiple entrances to sites. You know, you can do this with Omen and Brim and Astra, but they have to use multiple smokes and multiple charges. Harbor gets this on a 30 second cooldown and can use it multiple times in a round. And for your cove on B attack, you're going to want to cove right in the middle and then plant your spike right there. And you will usually want to play from courtyard. And while playing from courtyard, your cascades can either cascade B window or you can either cascade C link entrance or A link entrance. And then your harbor ults on B attack, you want to go into courtyard and ult the site. And this catches both sides of Link as well. Then here's a garage push for you as well. You're immediately going to want to cascade and stop the wall right before garage window. This gives you pretty much garage for free. And you can also cascade C, CT spawn in case you're pushing C as well. And then if you want a wall from garage, you can do a wall similar to this, where it blocks off both garage window and CT spawn. You know, you can try to do this with Viper, but the wall won't be as neat and clean and probably would have some gaps open. You really can only do this with Harbor's utility. And now moving on to a C attack execute. This is Harbor's bread and butter site. Similar to Icebox B long and Pearl B long, C long is insane for cascade push. You immediately want to start with a cascade push and the enemy won't know how many allies are behind this cascade wall pushing into their C site. And then your wall for C attack is pretty simple. You want to cover both garage and CT. This can be done with multiple other walls like Viper or Astro wall. And your cove will usually go right in front of your cascade. So you have easy play. The only areas you really want to be cautious about while attacking C is the immediate left corner as you enter the site as none of your util really covers that and on top of the boxes up to the left corner. You can also cascade on the left wall on C attack and it gives you more room to play around, which is pretty nice. Now moving on to defense. How can you set up Harbor's utility to be successful for your team on defense? Well, let's start with the A site on defense. You could do some pretty cool walls on A site, similar to this one, where you're able to cut off both A short, A ramp, and also A long, which denies the orb for the enemy team. And then you can cascade either A ramp or A short, and those are both very strong cascades. And then here's your ult for an A site retake, which is a really, really strong ult on A as it covers the whole entire site, long and short. Now let's move on to B site defense, and B site is once again pretty fun for Harper. Right as the round starts, you're immediately gonna wanna cascade and cut off B window. And what's awesome about Harbor's defense on B is that if he uses wall on the B site, it can also reach the C site or the A site. So as you can see, I kind of cover A short and A long with this wall while also covering B main. Then you can also cover B site and garage with this wall, which is an extremely strong wall as it stops all of the mid push. 
And then there's also this really fun wall that's similar to the B garage wall, but instead of ending it, curve it all the way and it stops pushes completely, especially if a cascade activated on B window, enemies have to walk through your wall twice to even get into garage. And your harbor ults are gonna usually be placed from behind the site, so it can creep into B main and A link and C link while also covering the whole entire site. And now moving on to C site defense, similar to attack, your cascade is extremely strong on C site long. So you're immediately gonna wanna start the round by casting your cascade, stop it right at the entry point. And then you're gonna wanna wall off C and B garage. And you also can do multiple walls on C and B. You can cover the beginning of garage and C, or you can cover where garage meets C and then C entrance as well. So you have a lot of flexibility with your walls. So here's a retake scenario. Say you're coming in from CT spawn, you're gonna wanna start your wall off like this and then you're immediately gonna wanna cascade to your right and forward. And then you're usually gonna try to use your cove to defuse the spike on C. And then your ults for C defense, you're usually gonna ult from C link and it covers all the C site, a little bit of garage and a little bit of C long. And there you go, that's your mini guide to Harbor on Haven. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide and I hope to see more harbors on this map because I do think he's pretty strong. Let us know if you enjoyed this guide and thank you so much for watching.